focus on your breath. You're turning your gaze inward. All too often we look outside and see what's wrong with that person, what's wrong with this person. But the question is, where is the suffering coming from? And it's coming from inside. Other people can do horrible things, but it doesn't have to make you suffer. It's because you take things outside and bring them in, feed on those. And a lot of times it's, it's junk, or what a John Lee would say, they're chewing on something, they spit it out, and then you pick it up and chew on it yourself. And who are you going to blame it for that? Okay, it's your own, you know, he said, your own stupidity for picking the stuff up to begin with. You look at other people's behavior, and what's useful about other people's behavior to look at is, one, if you see an inspiring example, you ask yourself, how can I do that too? And if you see something that strikes you as really out of line, you can turn around and ask yourself, well, do I do that too as well? This is what it looks like when someone else does it. It looks the same way when I do it. And this way you can actually get some advantage from being around other people, learning to imitate their good traits and learning how to reflect on their bad traits to see if they reflect on you. And otherwise, just let it go. Your main focus is inside, because that's where the real problem is. John Sawat's image is the, the mountain over there on the horizon. Is it, is it heavy? And he says, heavy only as long as you try to pick it up. But if you don't try to pick it up, it's not heavy on you. Whether it's heavy in and of itself is not an issue for you. It's you're picking it up and carrying it around. That's the problem. So try to let go of the things outside so you can look into your own habits, because it's your own habits that are causing problems and your own habits that can be changed. It's not that we're laying blame on anybody. It's simply asking what's the most fruitful way of focusing your attention, where can the work that's done as you go through the day be best focused to get the best results. So we have lots of people here for, for our monastery. This is a large, large crowd. So it has lots of opportunities to let your mind wander outside and create a lot of trouble, but also opportunities to learn if you want. Okay, what are from good examples and from bad examples? But again, it also comes back to your behavior, what you're doing with your own your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. That's the real issue. So keep your attention focused there, because that's where the practice shows its benefits. In fact, that's what the practice is: is focusing on what you're doing. Once you take care of that, then there are no real problems in the world. There may be problems outside, and you can help with the problems as you, as you see fit. But in terms of those problems weighing down the mind, that's gone. 